Hey, welcome back to Trucking California with Velox 18, where everything is made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> little Drew Carey reference for you guys. A little whose line is it anyway reference for you guys to start out the video. I think that's about the best intro I've ever done. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. I'm like, I think I can just stop this video now. Boom. I've, I've, I've arrived. That was it. That was, that was as good as this video is going to get right there. That just came off the top of my head too. I don't know why I haven't said that before. Yeah, that was good. All right. Anyway, we're uh, down here at the bottom of the Grapevine Wheeler Ridge, just outside of Bakersfield, and uh, we stopped short here last night. If you didn't catch last video, and uh, we stopped here because, well, because there's lots of parking. There's always parking. I nosed into this spot to uh, protect the, the truck El Hueso back there. And uh, well, we're going to continue this produce load that we picked up down in El Centro, California, and uh, we're going to take this broccoli up to Oakland. So. Uh, we're going to stop off at the house because uh, we're ahead of schedule. They got me loaded in like an hour last night. It was amazing. It was awesome. Uh, but now we're going to head up and, uh, and, and get to the house, hang out with the family for a little bit in the evening time, have some dinner, and then we're going to head over to Oakland to make our delivery tonight. So that's what's in store for today's video. Let's get trucking, y'all. I just said, y'all, I'm going to be, I'm going to fit in just nice in Tennessee. All right, roll the music, y'all. Visalia and uh, yeah I've been trucking right along right now We're trucking right along I was uh, on a phone call when I left Bakersfield but uh, uh, Wheeler Ridge but uh, yeah man I I got a, a, a friend down in Southern California he said hey I, I watch your videos I, I saw that you uh, that is kind of slow right now on the uh, on the Reaper stuff I got a flatbed trailer you can use, uh, or a curtain van, and uh, and I got a connection with the broker if you want to come down here and run some loads. Uh, so I'm like, I, I got I'm seriously, seriously contemplating that right now. So uh, so, but anyway, I like what I'm doing, and I'm I'm liking you know building relationships like this relationship I just got with the broker on this load. Um, you know, I wouldn't have gotten if I did. They didn't cancel the load, uh, my previous load, and if I wasn't just kind of desperate, uh, willing to deadhead 175 miles to go pick this load up. Uh, you know that that kind of uh, that's. Uh, well, I thought that was something else. Sorry, I, I got. I'm getting distracted. Getting distracted. But uh, yeah, so so I like you know getting. Getting in, uh, you know, good with with new brokers and building new relationships within the reefer side of things because, you know, these those are things uh, those are things that will serve me in the long run with this type of freight. But I also like the idea of learning a different type of freight, making connections and other stuff. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but flatbed trailers tend to be <laughs> uh, a little cheaper than than uh, reefers. You know, they don't. It's like two thirds of uh, of the of the trailer. It's just it's just the chassis and the frame and, and the floor and that's it so um, anyway so yeah so a little bit more affordable to get into and uh, they got some loads right now because there's some building materials you know being shipped over from uh, from out of the country and we need we need building materials they need building materials all over the country uh, and so they're getting shipped into LA and then they're getting sent out everywhere so anyway I don't know it's an option, so I appreciated him thinking of me and uh, you know being willing to share his his contacts with me. But uh, anyway, my, my camera's freaking out, so I'm gonna cut this off. Uh, and uh, we'll I'll catch up to you guys when we get a little further down the road. I don't know. We got we're just trucking during the day. It's nice and beautiful. Weather's been excellent. Typical February uh, weather in California, where you know it's a little brisk. But it's uh, it's sunny. Always sunny. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. We'll catch up with you guys down the road. All right, we're almost to the yard. Um, I was just driving by Collier Road right here in uh, Livingston. 
Delhi, and uh, I remembered um, one of uh, one of my subscribers. Uh, he said he was going to be working in, in the middle of the freeway right there in the median. So uh, he said to honk when I went by. So I I'd already passed the first group of uh, workers when I honked, but hope you heard me. His uh, <laughs> his um, username on YouTube is Plays on Freeway. So I think I know why. You know, since he's out there working uh, on the freeway. So I had a high school teacher that always tell tell people, "Hey, go play on the freeway." He was actually really a jerk, so you always kind of wondered if he meant it. He was like, he was like a big jerk. So, my dad, who's not a jerk, he always just tell people to go jump in the lake, which is like much less dangerous than playing on the freeway. But you get the same effect of like telling someone, dude, get out of here. Go do something else besides bother me. But yeah, go play on the freeway is kind of morbid, kind of crazy. But anyway, so what's up? I honked. I was a little late with my honk, so hopefully you heard. It's, uh, it's like 2.30, give or take, maybe a little after 2.30, maybe almost 3, something like that. But, uh, uh oh, you got the popo. Act natural, act natural. You rolled that stop sign, bro. You rolled it. I saw you roll it. No. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I wonder if um, if uh, officer oh what was his last name? He had a hard last name. I think I have his card here. Hold on, I gotta I gotta remember this so that because I now that I've mentioned it. Yeah, Officer Zakowski. What if Officer Zakowski still uh, still watches the channel? You can tell you can tell that uh, that Merced County Sheriff uh, deputy that they just rolled the stop sign. Maybe you can write up a ticket for me. <laughs> He's like, hey man, we got video proof. You rolled that stop sign, sucker. All right, we got it in the spot, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go uh, back to the house and hang out with the family for a little while, and I'll catch up with you guys later. And just about the time, start to get tired, it's time to go to work. This pickup's been treating me good. Besides the guys who stole the catalytic converter, it's been uh, running like a top. Running like a top. Well, let's, uh, let's go get over to the truck. All right, we are back at the truck. I feel like I'm starting a new video. I feel like I, feel like I should just be like, but we already did that, so let's just go get in the truck and drive. It's kind of boring. Kind of wish I had some other uh, some other song. You know what? I think I might create a new intro just for this right now. This we'll call this the what the intermission. The intermission roll the music, right? We're gonna roll the music again because that's what we're doing. We're rolling the music twice. these fuel prices I know sometimes these uh, these cameras they like flicker and you see the see the light but let me see if I can line it up for you guys so so the uh, yeah it's 435 a gallon so you guys know what I paid uh, yesterday in the desert you know what I paid? Not 4.35 a gallon. Try 4.35 a gallon plus 80 cents a gallon. Yeah, almost a whole dollar more than I'm gonna pay here. So that was silly. I didn't. I didn't top off. I I put enough fuel to take care of this load, but man, I, I wish I would have put less. Cause I think I put like 500 bucks in. 
And it's like, dude, that 500 bucks just didn't go very far. Didn't go very far at all. So anyway, I'm gonna run in real quick and then uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll get down the road and we'll get over to Oakland, well, Alameda. We're gonna go to Alameda to make this delivery. So that's the plan, Stan. I'll be right back and get rolling. All right, so maybe right back wasn't the right choice of words because we're uh, we're all the way in Oakland now. <laughs> so, you know, right back wasn't accurate, but I ended up on the phone talking to some peeps. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get over here and uh, this place looks interesting. It looks like they've got two docks. So, uh, when I get over here, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, having to kind of go around the building so that I can so I can uh, you know dock in the right way. So anyway, it's it from the looks of the of the map, it should be interesting. All right, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. But uh, yeah, we're trying to try to get this thing uh, this stuff offloaded off the truck. Uh, it's just 10 o'clock now, so this is when they start receiving. Uh, between 10 and 5 a.m. was my delivery time. I'm trying to get this stuff off the truck so that I can make it to Donuts with Dads uh, at Lucy's school. And uh, and actually, they because it's kind of you know right before Super Bowl, they they sent out an email and said, "Hey, Dads, where where are your favorite football teams uh, colors? Where are your favorite football jersey or something?" So Lucy's really excited for me to go in all my Bengals stuff so that I can show everyone at her school that I'm a Bengals fan and that my team, the Cincinnati Bengals, are in the Super Bowl. So, you know, that's, I think she's actually more excited about that than she is to like, look, see, I told you we were Bengals fans in our family. So, anyway, but I'm gonna get over here to uh, this facility and then uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we get down there but I gotta I gotta enlarge my uh, my map so I can see a little bit better coming down into, into some streets that I've never uh, I've never been down so gotta cut it off and catch up with you guys in a minute all right guys this feels like the wrong decision to make but I went ahead and followed the sign that said the receiver's name on it. it said shipping and receiving this way. So I decided I'd roll the dice, even though I'm like 99% sure that I'm not gonna be able to get in there from this from this way. I just uh, you know I, I trusted I trusted that. Uh, that we'd <clears throat> I trusted that uh, that that we're um, oh this guy's got to come out this way I gotta hug it yeah get over here off to the side for him pretty sure that we made a bad decision here folks oh yeah here comes a guy he's coming around the way that I thought I should come in I don't, oh he's trying to well This is not good. Cause see how that guy's facing? That's the way I needed to face. So that's just the way that this is gonna work today. I followed the sign. I saw on the map that I should come around that way, but I still, 
you know, when you see a sign, I, I just trust that, hey, these guys know more than I do. They, they This is their place of work. So when it says shipping receiving this way, I just assume, but I guess if they're used to getting box trucks, they're used to getting box trucks. But we'll go in and we'll check it out right now. All right, guys, this is gonna be kind of silly, but we're gonna back all the way out of here and then go around the building. I looked up there, there's a couple places where I, I feel like I could almost like, you know, nose into a dock and try and, try and turn around that way. But it just feels uh, a little, a little too tight. It does. It feels, it feels um, like, like I'm gonna be uh, really doing it. And this, I kind of weaved in here. I don't know if you noticed. So it's, this doesn't, this doesn't feel good doing this <laughs> at all. But at the same time, I kind of don't know that I, I, I honestly think this is the safest thing for me to do. So, man, a big, big fail on uh, whoever put the sign up. But then again, they probably didn't anticipate when they put the sign up that uh, they'd have a 53 footer with, uh, you know, 260 inch wheelbase truck coming in here trying to act like a super trucker so yeah no that's that's just kind of uh, kind of the way the way of the world man they they don't they don't cater to super truckers like me all right <laughs> and we did it we safely kind of weaved out of that whole mess that we found ourselves in and now we just got to go around the building uh, the one good thing is I think there's a chance there's a legitimate chance that we might we might get this thing unloaded like quick I really think there's a chance I really really do now this is the driveway but this is a little bit tighter than the, the other driveway I pulled into so this this wasn't uh, look at those trees too man so this whole place was not made with uh, with big trucks in mind goodness all the trees are scraped up it's not that one it's the next one I, I almost I almost put myself in the same predicament you see that silly man I just I gotta hug these trees this is this is this is silly I was gonna try and record some of this for you guys, but that other truck's waiting, waiting for me. So I'm not gonna run around and get my camera set up and all that. That's that's too much. We got it in there. Took a little maneuvering. We got it in there. Had to make sure I didn't hit this dumpster. But uh, yeah, said he's gonna unload me. They charged me uh, three dollars a pallet, twenty-six pallets. So uh, quick math tells me 
I'm gonna owe these guys $78 and uh, I'll get the broker to pay for it and he said I could call him anytime of night or whatever but uh, I don't really want to I'm just gonna pay it and I think this guy uh, just from my interaction with him when I got the load I think he's good for it I think he's good for it so anyway so uh, th these guys told me they had to clean and make room in the cooler because uh, this this whole loads going here normally guys just drop off three four pallets and keep going to their next stop but this one's a full load so he uh, he said he's got to make room in his cooler so we're gonna be here a while he said uh, go ahead you can take a nap I'll knock on the door when you're done so all right sounds good to me it's late so yeah we'll see how long this takes all right guys it's almost one in the morning so it took them a little while it took them a little while but hey we uh, we're gonna get home about 3 30 and sleep for about three hours and then go to donuts with dads so uh, I should have uh, slept a little bit but I I'll be honest I just started getting tired just now just right now so that is why I didn't go to sleep yet because I'm tired all right that is that and uh We'll go on back where we came from, back home, and uh, I think we're gonna call it a week because tomorrow's Friday, and I don't know. I'm looking for a load for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, sometime to leave out and make some money, but I haven't been able to uh, to find anything yet. So we shall see. But until then, uh, I think I'm gonna sign off right now on this video. Love you guys. Peace out. See you on the next load. If I can ever get one. Ah! All right, hey, actually, uh, I want to close out the video by giving you guys the numbers. The numbers. We got to get to the numbers. Uh, okay, so um, this load, we had to deadhead that 175 miles, and then it was about 600 miles after that, so about 775 total miles over two days. And uh, this load paid uh, 2800 so just about 360 a mile. Which uh, is not bad, not bad. I'm not, I'm not nothing to sneeze at. Uh, and I actually think it was better than the load that we had cancel on us yesterday. Now that load was going to be like 360 miles or something like that, 370, something like that, 375. I forget. But nevertheless, it was going to be 460 a mile. It was just going to come up here to Lathrop, less miles, and it, it was going to pay us 1,700. So um, we lost about a dollar per mile on the rate. But we did almost double the miles, so obviously, um, you know, higher revenue for this load. And I think the reason why I think this was a good trade-off, I mean, not that, not that I even had a choice, right? They canceled my load. I, I was just scrambling. I was just trying to find something to keep the truck moving. But um, now that I'm back up in the NorCal market, there's not a lot here, man. There's just, it, it's, it's slow at the end of the weeks. Seems like everything's moving on, like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, um, maybe some stuff moves over the weekend, but it must get booked way ahead because I don't know. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. So anyway, so <clears throat> uh, I think we did good to increase our revenue because we could have saved a day and we could have um, uh, had a better rate per mile. But I don't know that that would have helped us at all because I don't know that we would have gotten a load getting back out of here to get us, you know, uh, help us make more money to, you know, today, tomorrow, whatever. So I think that revenue was probably more important. So we hit the revenue. We lost a dollar per mile on the rate, but we got $1,100 more on the, on the revenue. So I think it was a good trade. I really do. And uh, this, this load um, got me the connection with this broker, which uh, he said he's got loads out of there all the time. So uh, this, during this time of year, you know, getting, getting produce out of Mexico is where the money's at. So uh, I might be trying to get down to San Diego and then head out you know uh um interstate eight out of san diego and go out and try and get out to yuma and get myself some uh some more some more loads like this so i don't know it's just 
right now that's it's all uh, kind of just up in the air just got to take what we can get keep the truck moving and uh you know keep from eating into our savings because we saved up for just for these two months you know uh january february we we have money in the bank but i don't want to touch it if i don't have to right so i just gotta keep the truck moving try and uh try and make it to where we're we're uh we're rocking and rolling so that's uh that's what we're doing and i think I, I'm gonna go take like a three hour nap and then we're gonna go to Donuts donuts and Dads or Donuts with Dads or whatever it's called. And so, uh, Lucy, I'm on my way home. I'll see you in the morning. And um, yeah, the rest of you guys, uh, I will see you on the next load whenever that is. Whether I get something over the weekend that takes me out of here or whether it's uh, Monday. It's all up in the air, but uh, I'll see you guys then. All right, love you guys, peace. All right, we made it to dinner, dinner, uh, dinner, dinner, I'm tired. Donuts with dads. No. <laughs> <laughs> Love you.